video, I will be importing an XML file into Excel. But first, I'm going to map the data, which means I'm going to place the fields in the locations I want them to appear in my spreadsheet. So in step 18 of your textbook, again, the review assignment, tutorial 11, we are asked to use a text editor to edit that info file and to add our name as the author. I've gone ahead and opened Notepad because that's a text editor that I have on my machine. And I'll go to File, Open. Now I'm in the Review folder for Tutorial 11, and it doesn't appear as if I have an info file. But remember that the filter is on, so I'm only showing text files. If I change that to All Files or remove the filter, I will see the info file, which is an XML file. So let's go ahead and open that. Now, in the interest of time, I've gone ahead and typed in my name for the author, and I went to the bottom and typed in another uh, note, a note 6, and then I saved the file. So I'll go ahead and exit out of Notepad. And what we're ready to do now is to um, open the source, the data map, for the info file. We do that with the Developer tab. Now, if you don't have a Developer tab, what you'll have to do is go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and then over here in the Customize Ribbon portion, click this checkbox for the Developer tab. When you click OK, that will generate the Developer tab for you. In the Developer tab, we want to choose Source. Now note that this is the XML group. So we'll choose Source. That opens this XML Source box for us. And we have to find the map. So we're going to click on XML Maps, and we're going to add a map to the Info file. When I click Open and I click OK, it's going to show the structure or the underpinnings of that info file. I'm going to drag these headings into the areas where I want it to appear in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to drag Title to cell A1 and Subtitle to cell A2. And then the rest of the elements I'm going to drag to B4. And when you get this little header options button, you can choose to place your headings uh, around your field. So I'm going to place them to the left. That's why I went to column B, so I'd have a little room. And again, I'll do the same thing here. Place my heading for this element to the left. I'm going to drag file name right below that and place my heading to the left. And then I'm going to grab the notes element. And that one will just uh, up here below this line. Now, it doesn't look like much now. I can go ahead and close my XML data map. I don't need it anymore. And what's going to make this work is when I refresh my data, because I've actually created a connection between Excel and my info file, and I'm using the data map as a way of organizing it. So I want to go to the Data tab, and I want to look at that connection. So here's my info connection. If I click here, I can see where it is. And what I want to do is choose Refresh. Let me close this, and you'll see that when I refreshed, it brought all the information into the fields that I had chosen. Now we are asked to do a little bit of uh, formatting here. So I'm going to format the information in cell A1 with a cell style of title. And in A2, I'll do the same thing, but this will be a Heading 1 style. And so that looks just like I'd like it to look. The last thing that we're asked to do in Step 21 is to refresh the connection. So again, we'll go to Data, Connections, select that Info, and refresh it. And while we're here, they want us to change some of the properties. So um, we're going to rename the property as the document information. You'll put in the description. I'll shorten that just in the interest of time. And then we'll go ahead and click OK and close that dialog box. This is the end of the video. I hope it's helped you.